Hi everyone, this video is on discussing binomial distribution problems. In this video, we shall see some of the problems on the binomial distribution and we will see the characteristic of the binomial distribution. Problem is, estimate the probability of getting 0 to 6 heads in 6 coin tosses and probability of head is 0 0.5. If the probability of head is 0.5, the probability of tail will also be 1 minus 0.5, that is 0.5. <laughs> so if you toss a coin 6 times, at most you can get 6 heads or at least you can get 0 heads. So problem is about estimating how many heads we will get, estimating the probability of how many heads we will get in 6 coin tosses. What we can expect as the outcome? of this problem. The binomial distribution of number of heads in 6 coin tosses will be the probability distribution with a random variable number of heads in 6 coin tosses and we want to estimate probability of getting 0 heads in 6 coin tosses, 1 heads in 6 coin tosses, 2 heads in 6 coin tosses and 6 heads in 6 coin tosses. Now we will see, we will decode the problem parameters. In the previous video, we had discussed about what are the problem parameters and we will find out the values which are required for estimating binomial probability. So in estimating the probability of 0 to 6 heads in 6 coin tosses and probability of head is 0 0.5, number of trails is given by n and it is 6 because we are repeating the experiments 6 times and probability of head uh, that is probability of success is 0.5 that is denoted by p so the outcome of our interest is getting heads and we are labeling it as success and if we get tails in any trail we are calling it as a failure the random variable x can take values 0 to 6 that is denoted by x. These three are the required things in order to estimate the binomial probability. After decoding the required parameters from the problems, we will now see the condition whether this problem satisfy the condition for applying binomial distribution. Very first condition in order to apply binomial distribution, there needs to be fixed number of trials. Here n is fixed, that is number of trials are fixed. So condition 1 is satisfied. So we have 6 trials. Second is, each trial should have exactly 2 outcomes. So the coin toss is an experiment or a trial. It has exactly 2 outcomes. So the coin toss is having the outcome head or tail. So the condition 2 is satisfied. The third condition, the probability of success. Here we are defining if we get head is a success. So the probability of success is fixed on every trial. So condition 3 is satisfied. The fourth condition is each coin toss experiment or if I toss a coin 6 times every time the experiment is independent of the previous coin toss. So the fourth condition is also satisfied. So whenever you come across any problem, if you apply, if you want to apply binomial distribution, you have to check these four conditions. If these four conditions are met, then for that problem, you can apply binomial distribution calculation procedure. Hence, all the condition for applying binomial distribution is satisfied binomial distribution procedure can be applied to find the probability of number of heads in six coin tosses. So the problem n is number of trials. From the problem we will see we have the value of n is 6. x is the random variable which can take 0 to 6. Probability of head is 0.5 and the probability of tail is 0.5. So the random variable and the binomial probability. 
if the random variable number of heads in six coin tosses if i toss a coin six times if i get zero heads that means if i get all the tails in six coin tosses so the random variable will become zero that will be estimated with binomial zero colon six comma point five zero means number of heads in six coin tosses number of times we have tossed the coin is six and the probability of expecting head in every coin toss is 0.5 likewise we have random variable a random variable assuming the value 1 1 head in 6 coin tosses 2 heads in 6 coin tosses 3 heads in 6 coin tosses 4 heads in 6 coin tosses 5 heads in 6 coin tosses and 6 heads in 6 coin tosses at most we can get 6 heads if i toss a coin 6 times so if i estimate this binomial probability shown in the second column that completes our problem so we will estimate each of these probability and we will see what is the probability values we will get this is the formula for estimating binomial probability we have ncx n is six times we are tossing a coin x is random variable taking the values from 0 to 6 p to the power of x is probability of success to number of times we are getting the success 1 minus p to the power of n minus x is probability of failure so zero heads in six coin tosses this is the only one way we can get zero heads in six coin tosses that is if i get six times tails if i toss a coin six times and the binomial probability is measured by binomial distribution of 0 colon 6 comma 0.5 is 6 c 0 that is 1 0.5 to the power of number of heads in 6 coin tosses and 0.5 to the power of number of heads in number of failures in 6 coin tosses 6 failures we have got so 0.5 to the power of 0 into 0.5 to the power of 6 that is estimated as 0 0.015 and one head in six coin tosses we can get one head in six coin tosses in six ways very first time if i toss a coin i may get head and here are the possibilities we have listed one head in six coin tosses there are six ways we can get one head in six coin tosses so six c1 turns out to be six and 0.5 to the power of one that means one head and 0.5 to the power of 5 is 5 failures in every trial so the probability turns out to be 0 0.090 two heads in six coin tosses so there are 15 possible ways listed in this slide how many ways we can get two heads in six coin tosses and same is used at the bottom for the computation of two heads in six coin tosses and the probability is 0. 2 to 5 3 heads in 6 coin tosses so there are 20 ways one can get 3 heads in 6 coin tosses all the possibilities are listed here 6 c3 turns out to be 20 and probability of success is 0 0.5 to the power of 3 heads and probability of failure 0 0.5 to the power of 3 tails it turns out to be 0 0.300 likewise we have calculated four heads in six coin tosses so there are 15 possible ways of getting four heads if i toss a coin six times and this probability turns out to be 0 0.225 so five heads in six coin tosses so there are six ways of getting five heads in six coin tosses and this probability turns out to be 0 0.090 six heads in six coin tosses there is only one possible way of getting six heads if i toss a coin six times if i get all heads every time when i toss a coin so this probability turns out to be 0 0.015 so we have estimated the probability of getting zero to six heads in six coin tosses and here is the summary of all the calculation what we have done so far so we have 0 0.015 is the probability of getting zero heads in six coin tosses 
0.090 is the probability of getting one heads in six coin tosses likewise 0.015 is a probability of getting six heads in six coin tosses you can verify sum of all this probability will be is equal to one so now we will see we will visualize this probability what we have calculated for the problem through histogram that is probability histogram so on the x-axis I have the random variable value that is how many heads we will get in six coin tosses and the y-axis is the probability of getting zero head one head two head or basically it is a probability of getting heads in six coin tosses so probability of getting one zero head in six coin tosses is 0 0.015 likewise probability of getting one head in six coin tosses is 0 0.09 probability of getting two heads in six coin tosses is 0 0.225 probability of getting three heads is 0.3 likewise we have probability of getting four heads five heads and six heads in six coin tosses you can see the random variable is on the x-axis and the probability is on the y-axis you might have noticed this histogram is symmetrical that means on the left hand side and the right hand side of this histogram is symmetric it is not skewed this is because the probability of head and the probability of tail otherwise the probability of success and the probability of failure we have taken equal during these circumstances we will end up in getting the probability of histogram symmetric what happens if we have the probability of success is greater than the probability of failure that is probability of head if we define as 0.8 and the probability of tail is 0.2 or the probability of success is less than probability of failure that is probability of head if we fix 0.2 and the probability of tail as 0.8 these kind of problems we will see and we will address in the next video so in this video we had seen the binomial distribution problem if the probability of success is equal to probability of failure and we have discussed step by step procedure for calculating the binomial probability for a random variable number of heads in six coin tosses hope you like this video uh, please drop your comments please drop your suggestions to improve the upcoming set of videos and you can download the resources used in this video by following the description of this video all the slides and all the pdfs and the materials used in this video you can download freely thank you thank you for watching and i will see you in the next set of video on the binomial distribution